Here are 30 most commonly asked SAP kernel upgrade related interview questions with detailed and informative answers for SAP basis interviews. 1. What is the SAP kernel and why is it crucial for SAP systems? Answer: The SAP kernel is the core executable component of the SAP system containing the dispatcher and work processes. It is crucial for SAP systems as it facilitates the execution of ABAP programs, handling user requests, and managing system resources. 2. Why would you need to perform a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer: SAP kernel upgrades are performed to apply improvements, bug fixes, security patches, and enhancements to the core components of the SAP system. It ensures that the system runs on the latest and most stable version of the SAP kernel. 3. What are the key components of the SAP kernel that are upgraded during the process? Answer. The key components upgraded during a SAP kernel upgrade include the executables DISP plus work, ICMIN, dynamic link libraries DELS, and kernel executables specific to the operating system and database. 4. Explain the process of planning a SAP kernel upgrade. Answer. Planning a SAP kernel upgrade involves reviewing SAP notes for the latest kernel version, checking hardware and OS compatibility, reviewing the upgrade guide, and scheduling downtime. Additionally, backup of the current kernel and system is recommended. 5. How do you determine the current SAP kernel version in a system? Answer. The current SAP kernel version can be determined by checking the kernel files in the SID.exe directory. Use the command disk plus work version or transaction code zim51 to view the kernel version in the system. 6. What precautions should be taken before starting a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. Before a SAP kernel upgrade, precautions include performing a full system backup, checking hardware and OS prerequisites, and reviewing the release notes for the new kernel version. Communication with stakeholders and proper scheduling are also essential. 7. How do you download the latest SAP kernel files from SAP Service Marketplace? Answer. The latest SAP kernel files can be downloaded from the SAP Software Download Center on the SAP Support Portal Support. SAP.com. Access to the portal requires an SAP S user ID with the necessary authorization. 8. What is the role of the SAP kernel upgrade tool in the upgrade process? Answer. The SAP kernel upgrade tool SAPUP is used to automate the process of replacing the existing kernel files with the new version. It handles tasks such as stopping and starting the SAP system, copying files, and updating the kernel configuration. 9. Explain the steps involved in performing a SAP kernel upgrade. Answer. The steps in a SAP kernel upgrade include A. Reviewing release notes and prerequisites B. Downloading the new kernel files C. Stopping the SAP system D. Replacing the old kernel files with the new ones E. Starting the SAP system F. Verifying the successful upgrade 10. How do you handle a rollback in case of issues during a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer rollback in a SAP kernel upgrade involves stopping the SAP system, restoring the backup of the previous kernel, and starting the system. It's crucial to review logs, identify the issue, and rectify it before attempting the upgrade again. 11. What are the considerations for upgrading the SAP kernel on a distributed system landscape? Answer. Considerations include upgrading the kernel on all instances, coordinating the upgrade across instances, and ensuring that all instances run the same kernel version to maintain system consistency. 12. How do you perform a dry run or pre-check before a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. A dry run or pre-check involves using the SAP up tool with the PREC option. This checks the system's readiness for the upgrade ensuring that prerequisites are met and the upgrade can proceed without issues. 13. Explain the significance of the SAP kernel parameter disk VB watchdog during a kernel upgrade. Answer. The parameter disk VB watchdog controls the behavior of the SAP dispatcher watchdog during a SAP kernel upgrade. 
It determines whether the watchdog monitors the process during the upgrade or is deactivated temporarily. 14. How do you manage kernel parameter changes when upgrading the SAP kernel? Answer. Kernel parameter changes are managed by updating the corresponding parameters in the default FIFEL and other instance profiles. Ensure that any custom parameters are retained and review the documentation for any new parameters introduced with the upgraded kernel. 15. What is the role of the sapup command during a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. Sapup is the command line tool used for executing the SAP kernel upgrade. It handles tasks such as stopping and starting the SAP system, copying files, applying modifications, and updating the kernel configuration. 16. Explain the importance of checking compatibility between the new SAP kernel and the existing SAP system components. Answer. Compatibility checks ensure that the new SAP kernel is compatible with the current SAP system components, including the database version, operating system, and other dependencies. Mismatched versions can lead to instability and errors. 17. What is the purpose of the SAP tool? And when is it used in a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. The SAP tool is used to copy executable files during a SAP kernel upgrade. It is invoked by SAPUP to replace old kernel files with the new ones, while ensuring that the system remains consistent. 18. How do you handle issues related to incompatible third-party products during a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. Incompatible third-party products can be addressed by reviewing release notes, consulting with vendors for updates, and considering alternative solutions. It's essential to test the upgrade in a non-production environment to identify and resolve compatibility issues. 19. What is the significance of the check requirements phase during a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. The check requirements phase in a SAP kernel upgrade performs checks on prerequisites, such as ensuring that the necessary files are available, backups are taken, and the system is in a stable state before proceeding with the upgrade. 20. How do you handle the upgrade of the SAP kernel on an SAP HANA database? Answer. Upgrading the SAP kernel on an SAP HANA database involves considerations such as checking HANA compatibility, stopping the SAP system, updating kernel files, and restarting the system. Additional HANA-specific checks may be necessary. 21. What is the significance of the disk plus work exe and ICMAN exe files in the SAP kernel? Answer. Disk plus work exe is the SAP dispatcher responsible for managing user requests and work processes. While Ikman EXE is the ICM Internet Communication Manager responsible for handling HTTP requests, upgrading these files ensures improved performance and stability. 22. Explain the role of the R3Trans tool in the context of a SAP kernel upgrade. Answer R3Trans is a transport related tool used during SAP kernel upgrades. It handles the transport of data between the database and the SAP system, and it may be updated as part of the upgrade process to enhance its functionality. 23. What steps should be taken to validate the success of a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. Validation steps include checking the system logs for errors, verifying that the SAP system starts without issues, executing transactions to ensure functionality, and confirming that the new kernel version is displayed in system information. 24. How do you handle the upgrade of SAP kernel patches between support package stacks? Answer. Grading SAP kernel patches involves applying the latest kernel patches using tools like SAPUP or Software Update Manager SUM. The process is similar to a full kernel upgrade, but focuses on patch level changes. 25. What is the role of the SAPCAR tool in the context of a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. The SAPCAR tool is used to create and extract SAP archive files. During a SAP kernel upgrade, it may be used to extract kernel archives and handle the deployment of kernel files to the appropriate directories. 26. How do you handle the upgrade of the SAP GUI after a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. 
The SAP GE upgrade is a separate process from the SAP kernel upgrade. It involves distributing the latest SAP GE software to end-user machines and ensuring compatibility with the upgraded SAP system. 27. Explain the concept of a rolling kernel upgrade and its benefits. Answer. A rolling kernel upgrade involves upgrading one instance at a time in a multi-instance SAP system, allowing the system to remain partially available during the upgrade. It reduces downtime and ensures continuous system operation. 28. What precautions should be taken when upgrading the SAP kernel in a production environment? Answer. Precautions include scheduling the upgrade during planned downtime, performing a thorough system backup, communicating with stakeholders, and thoroughly testing the upgrade in a non-production environment. 29. How do you handle kernel parameter changes specific to SAP HANA during a SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. Kernel parameter changes for SAP HANA involve updating the default FIFL file with any new or modified parameters. Consideration should be given to HANA-specific parameters and recommendations provided by SAP. 30. What are the steps to ensure a smooth rollback in case of a failed SAP kernel upgrade? Answer. Steps for a smooth rollback include stopping the SAP system, restoring the backup of the previous kernel, checking logs for errors, resolving issues, and ensuring that the system is stable before attempting the upgrade again. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP kernel upgrades in the context of SAP basis, providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.